Hey, what's up everyone? I uh, wanted to do a quick video on um, my recently installed uh, half cage. Um, I've been doing a lot of research over the last six months or so on uh, installing a half cage in my uh, M2. This one is a 2018 model. There were a couple of um, online resources uh, where uh, that had available pre-configured uh, bolt-in seat cages such as uh, SRS uh, but uh, given where I live here in Northern Virginia I actually was pretty lucky to find out that we have a, a cage builder extraordinaire right here in Leesburg Virginia um, I've talked to multiple shops uh, folks that go to the racetrack and uh, Mitch Piper of Piper Motorsports uh, came highly recommended um, went to talk to Mitch about a month ago, uh, just generally about uh, you know his approach to building, uh, to get information on uh, what he would be comfortable installing and building for me, and uh, you know came away pretty impressed um, with his attitude and the references that were given uh, for him as well. Um, so what I ended up uh, purchasing, and I will show you the uh, the cage here shortly, is a. Um, a half cage. Uh, there was an option between a bolt-in cage and a uh, welded-in cage. Um, given the fact that I wasn't really going to remove the half cage uh, for the winter and put in my regular seats uh, anyway, um, I decided to go for the um, welded-in cage, which obviously is a much bigger commitment because that means that if you decide to sell the car in a year or two, it will become a lot more difficult for you to remove it. Uh, it is possible, but it will require a uh, trip back to the shop. Uh, however, I had no plans to uh, upgrade the car. My plan is to keep the car for track days moving forward. Um, so I decided to do the um, welded in cage. Um, and the biggest reason really was that the, uh, the bolting cage does introduce a couple additional stress points that uh, tend to be the weak points if there is a crash. So, and given the fact that, uh, you know, here in Northern Virginia, we have access to some pretty fast tracks, uh, Watkins Glen in upstate New York, uh, VIR, and even here at Summit Point, where you're reaching speeds of 140 miles an hour. Um, I've just decided that if I'm uh, truly doing this for safety, I wanted to go with a fully welded in cage. Um, Mitch provided a couple of different options uh, for me to pursue in terms of the the, the shaping um, of the cage itself. Um, I wanted to, since the seat is not movable, I wanted to have the cage as close to the front seat as possible uh, so that the, the bottom of the cage here is as close to my helmet and close to my head um, as is feasible uh, and practic uh, practical. Um, I also wanted to install, and I'll show this to you, a um, kind of a brace um, across uh, that goes uh, in the back between the rear wheels. It makes it a little bit less practical because I am no longer able to put um, maybe a couple of wheels out on the back seat, but uh, the, uh, the added safety and also the rigidity that comes with it is beneficial. And I could say now that I've done one track weekend in it, um, highly noticeable. Um, I have also done uh, race seats. I've gone in this case with the Recaro Ergo seats. I believe that those were discontinued in 2019. Uh, but what I liked about them, as you can see here, they have the removable ears. So the halo can be removed when I'm on the track. Obviously I keep it uh, when I drive back home, um, I remove it. One, it's illegal. Two, it's really actually difficult to see uh, if the if the seat if the halo is here, I really have to um, move my head quite forward uh, to be able to get some uh, rear view visibility. Uh, one other thing of note is the race seats are considerably lower uh, to the ground than my other seat is, and uh, the one negative is oh there are two uh, the the two that I've gotten uh, the first one that I've gotten over pretty quickly is you sit lower. Right now, when I when I used to sit in my regular seats, I can see the hood of my car. I'm no longer able to see that. And I thought it would be an issue for me when I'm on the track, but it really wasn't. I'm sitting quite a bit lower, whereas in the past I had the wheel positioned all the way to the, uh, to the top. Uh, the steering wheel, that is. Now I have it almost all the way to the bottom. Uh, but uh, um, 
I, I don't have the, the field of view is not an issue for me. Um, the problem that I do have, uh, I'll try to show it from my perspective. When the uh, when the mirrors are folded out or unfolded rather, um, and I'm sitting usually a little bit lower. I have a pillow under my butt right now, but. Uh, I lose a lot of visibility here. So when I'm looking for apexes, I am no longer able to see that as as well as when I was sitting up a little bit higher. Um, so you do lose a little bit of the of the practicality from that perspective, but that can also be addressed uh, down the line by um, mirror shapes. Uh, I'm not gonna take care of that right now. This is something I'm gonna deal with uh, down the line. Um, in terms of the... Um, the harnesses, um, obviously they're mounted to the harness bar that's right behind me and, and I will show it to you in, in more detail. I went with the uh, with the Sparco six point um, belts. You can now get them in uh, two inch thickness versus the three inch thickness. Uh, that is, uh, is a little bit more difficult to work with. Uh, I also have a Hans device and obviously the Hans uh, anchors um, in my helmet um, and that is about it. Um, I didn't do sliders on the seats. Um, I wanted the seat here to be configured uh, kind of to my height and my liking. Um, and for the uh, passenger seat, I went with the large size and it's set a little bit more backwards. So I can, if I ever have an instructor, um, if somebody who's got a different body type uh, can fit in there comfortably. Um, I have also retained uh, the three-point um, seat belt. I do drive the car on the street occasionally, so the seat belt, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, the seat belt is still there. And uh, Mitch was able to um, also attach uh, the seat belt um, to, uh, to the harness, uh, not to the harness, to the, to the seat uh, bracket itself. Um, big, I, I do have one more comment. I do have one more comment on that. Um, um, I made a quick video earlier to, today about uh, recoding uh, the errors that will, will come up as a result of removing the seat and no longer being hooked into the, uh, the, the, the ECU and uh, the electrical harness. Uh, so the computer will throw errors that can be coded out. However, the, the seat belt um, attachment itself has a mechanism in it that if you actually do get into an accident, um, it will compress. So if you have your seat belt on and if you are in an accident that uh, requires for the airbags to deploy uh, and potentially even without the airbags, it will actually pull down on the seat belt uh, to make sure that you don't, uh, uh, that there is mini that it's minimizing the, the upper body travel. Um, so that mechanism is no longer um, effective. However, obviously the seatbelt uh, still is. Um, so I will put in the description a link to the video uh, that I made earlier today about uh, coding and how you can do that and the gentleman that you can get in touch with if you want to code, uh, code it out. So let me give you a quick, um, let me do a quick walk around the car. Um, so I guess here, first of all, I do use a pillow because without it, I do sit considerably lower and um, it, is, it is a bit uncomfortable having this between having this between my legs. So I, I have a pillow here that brings me up a little bit higher. Um, so these are the Sparco Ergo seats. Um, there's a six point harness. Uh, here is the standard. This comes, um, uh, this, um, bracket comes with the seat so you can adjust uh, the height of the seat and this is a vac motorsport um, brace that uh, the seat is attached to and it allows you fore and aft uh, adjustability as well as you could put uh, spacers in here if you need to move the seat up because mine is already for example at the highest setting um, get the seat down out of the way here is the um uh, the attachment that was under the, the seat. Um, this is obviously no longer no longer working. So I'm just going to tuck that in under under the seat. Um, the this half cage um, I have, as you can see, it's it's been. Um, hopefully you can see this well. It's uh, it's welded in. 
uh, to the ground. Um, cutouts have been made um, prior to it being welded in. Um, and I have a um, harness bar that goes across. And, and here, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap. The other seat uh, is a little bit further back. So it could have been in a little bit closer, but um, as in terms of where the height uh, comes all the way, all the way to the top. So there is no more space here or on, this, on the other side. You always wanna make sure that this bar goes as far high up, uh, high up as possible. Um, let me show you um, our back. I have decided, so I've done, uh, I've asked Mitch to, to do the brace that goes um, where the shock mount is um, on the inside of the car. So this helps stiffen the car and obviously this is also uh, welded in. It's been cut out nicely. Um, I have retained some of the carpeting um, and um, on the side, this is the side. Um, um, from just to keep a little bit of an, an, an OEM look and feel to it. If I further down the road, uh, turn it into a, just a purely a track car, I will remove all of this, um, mainly just for weight saving purposes. So, but again, here, this has been, this all this has, gets removed before it gets um, welded in, in place. So, overall, I'm very happy with the, with the, with the quality. Um, of the of the work, um, as I said, uh, Mitch came highly recommended from other sources. Um, and if anybody needs information as to how to get in touch with Mitch, it's uh, Mitch Piper at Piper Motorsports in Leesburg, Virginia. And I will also leave a um, a link to his uh, to his website um, under the video. So. Um, hope this was helpful. If anyone uh, is out there considering a half cage, um, wants to have a discussion uh, about the benefits or just ask questions uh, as to how the car feels um, now that the, the half cage has been installed and with the seats, uh, post a message below. Let me know and I will get back to you. Hope this was helpful.